Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and there's been an explosion of meme coin trading on a lot of chains. But there is one particular chain that you may not know how to use yet called the Base Chain, which is sponsored by Coinbase. So I'm going to show you how to get configured and get up and running on the Base Chain. I'll show you how to download, configure, and fund the Rabi wallet. I'll show you how to get it connected to the base chain so that you can do some trading. So let's jump in. So as I mentioned, I'm going to show you how to get configured so that you can connect your wallet and start trading on the base network. I'll leave a link to this down in the description so you can find out more about it. Before we get started, I'm going to show you how to get a wallet set up. So today I'll be using the Rabi wallet. So I already have my Rabi wallet set up and configured over here in Chrome but I don't have it in Brave yet, so I'll walk you through the setup process. You can use Brave or Chrome to do this, but I just wanna show you how the setup process works. It's really easy. We'll hit download for Chrome. If you're in Chrome, you'll hit add to Chrome. If you're in Brave, you'll hit add to Brave. You'll go ahead and add that extension. All right, and once you've got that done, you can just go over here and uh, start using the wallet. We'll hit next. And there are several options. Now, if you don't own a hardware wallet, you can create a new seed phrase. I don't really recommend this method highly because it would be a hot wallet, which is less secure than a hardware wallet. But if you're on a budget and you're just getting started, you can click here, uh, set up a password, and write down a seed phrase. Uh, read all this carefully. The seed phrase is very important. A lot of people worry about getting hacked uh, by hackers online, but what is much more common is being tricked into revealing your seed phrase, and that's more of a thief than a hacker, right? Somebody online that pretends to be from tech support or pretends to be helping you they will ask you for your seed phrase and then they will have access to your wallet. So be very careful when you use a hot wallet with a seed phrase, right? You'll click show seed phrase and then you'll write these words down and don't reveal them to anyone. Uh, the next step, it will ask you to configure uh, an address. I know this looks a little daunting, uh, but just configure the first one you see and then you're ready to go you'll basically have an empty wallet and you're ready to start trading. Uh, a much better way to do this is to use a hardware wallet. So if you click up here, you can add a new wallet. We're right back where we started before and that's what really makes Rabi such a neat wallet because you can manage multiple wallets right in this extension. So if you go down here to connect hardware wallets, you can just pull this down and you can see that they support a lot of different hardware wallets. I'll go ahead and show you how to connect your Ledger device. I've got my Ledger here ready to go. All right, you'll wanna make sure that you're in the Ethereum app. You'll notice there that I've got the Ethereum app highlighted, but you'll want to click both buttons so that you're inside the app, right? And then you can go ahead and uh, continue here. I'll choose Ledger. It will tell you what I just told you. Plug in your ledger, unlock it, and open the Ethereum app. Hit next. You'll give it permission here to connect to your device. And then you'll connect through the website or your browser. It's going to read your ledger device and export the public information. This is not in any way or form accessing your private key. Uh, you can click over here and it will show you the information for any Ethereum wallets that you may already have set up. And uh, you can choose among those wallets uh, to which ones you wanna manage in Rabi. So we'll just click this wallet and you can even rename this here if you want to. You can call it whatever you want to, whatever makes sense for you, and then you're done. And then you can go back over to the wallet and you can see we can switch between the wallets, right? The wallet that we set up with the seed phrases there 
and then we can easily switch over to the ledger-based wallet. Now, rem uh, I just want to point out here that even though we have uh, added a ledger account, that does not mean that this base wallet is now protected by the ledger. This base wallet is still a hot wallet, but the ledger wallet is protected by the device, right? So this is much more secure. Uh, this is the wallet that we'll use to uh, trade and swap. All right, once we've got our Rabi wallet set up, we can fund the base network. Now, notice here in Rabi that you can fine tune the wallet. It's a little easier than in the MetaMask wallet where you have to add wallets manually. Uh, in the Rabi wallet, it will detect any tokens that you might have on the alternate networks. And then you can see them all up here at the top. It will show you the tokens that are in the wallet and then you can click right on Ethereum and it will only show the tokens that it detects that are in the Ethereum network. Uh, if you click over here on the base network, you'll see the tokens that I have on the base network. The same goes for the Optimism network and the Binance Smart Chain network. Rabi just automatically detects whatever tokens are on those different chains. It really makes it easy. But in your case, if you've just connected your device or, or you have an empty wallet, you, really, you probably are going to have a zero balance on the base network. If you connected your device, you might see the Ethereum that you already had in your Ledger Ethereum accounts. So I'm going to show you how to fund the base network so we can do some trading on base. There are a couple of ways to do this. Now you can use the base bridge. And what's nice about the base bridge is that it can automatically convert any Ethereum that you may already have in one of your wallets over to the base network. The drawback is you're going to get charged Ethereum fees for this. We'll need to connect our wallet. So we'll go ahead and click connect wallet. And then it'll ask us which wallet we want to use. We've got Rabi set up, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then you can see there that it's connected to my Rabi wallet. Now that I've got my Ethereum wallet connected to the base bridge, uh, we can look at the balance in my Ethereum wallet and uh, we can decide if we want to transfer some into the base network from the Ethereum network. So uh, you, when I hit deposit Ethereum, it detects that my ledger is connected. So once again, we want to make sure that we're in the Ethereum app, right? If you're out here at the top level, you want to click both buttons and make sure that you're in the Ethereum app. Notice that Rabi detected that the wallet was connected once I got in. So a lot of people make that mistake. They don't realize they need to be actually in the app. So if you're not in the app, then Rabi says you're not connected, even though you have your cable and you're connected. So always make sure that you're actually in the Ethereum app by clicking both buttons, and then you'll be able to do this. All right. Uh, notice if we scroll down, we can see the fees there. There's going to be a $10 gas fee in, in order for me to make this uh, $36 deposit, and that's a little steep. Now, if it were a larger amount of Ethereum, percentage-wise, that might be a smaller gas fee. Also, the Ethereum network uh, fees are higher in times of high activity. So if you're doing this during the day or during the early evening when a lot of people are using the Ethereum network, the fees are going to be higher. Um, if you're in the U.S., you might want to try late at night or early in the morning. Uh, but people are using the Ethereum network all over the world. So just try different times wherever you may be in the world to try to find the time of least activity. So I'm going to go ahead and pay the fee just so you can see this play out. We'll hit begin signing and then uh, we'll review the transaction. We need to have blind signing enabled. If we don't have blind signing enabled, this won't work. 
All right, I'll click accept and send. And off it goes. Now, if you uh, get a message that blind signing isn't enabled, then all you have to do is uh, navigate with the button until you get into the settings. Click both buttons to enter the settings. And then where it says blind signing, you'll want to uh, click both buttons to toggle that on and off. So you'll notice I'm on top of blind signing. When I click both buttons, it toggles back and forth between enabled and disabled, right? So we need blind signing enabled to use the uh, bridge. And also when you're trading, you're going to need blind signing enabled. All right, I can view this on Etherscan. All right, and it told me that that was successful. And there you go. You see it was $36 worth of Ethereum, and I got charged 9 bucks for that. So pretty steep, but it did work. If we go into our Rabi wallet, it might take a few minutes for the Ethereum to actually hit the Rabi wallet. Notice there's two Ethereums that Rabi is showing me. Now, if I click uh, on base only up here, I can filter all those and only see the base tokens and uh, there is an ethereum that has the base icon this is base network based ethereum right uh, if i go back to uh, the main where i can see them all notice there's two different types of ethereum in my wallet i've got the regular ethereum and the base type ethereum all right. It's going to take a couple of minutes for that extra Ethereum to come in, so we'll just keep an eye on it. There was some Ethereum already in there. You can refresh up here if you want to. If you hover right next to it and you see these lines or these uh, chasing arrows, you can... Uh... Okay, and there you see the balance just went up. That was the, uh, extra, the, that was the Ethereum hitting my base. Right, you can see there that I've got more base Ethereum now than I did before. I transferred ETH tokens from the Ethereum network over to the base network using the base bridge. Now there is a cheaper way to do this. If you have some Ethereum in your Coinbase account, uh, or you've just made a purchase of Ethereum in your Coinbase account, you can withdraw that directly into your Rabi wallet on the base network. It's really simple. All we have to do is go to our Rabi wallet and grab that address. We'll just click this little icon here to copy that address into our clipboard. Go to our portfolio where we have our Ethereum. We can click here and get into the withdraw interface. Uh, if you click max, it fills in the amount of Ethereum that you have in your Coinbase account. But it's always good to, to do a small test first. Uh, notice if we decide that we just say want to draw, withdraw $20 worth of Ethereum, uh, we'll click the to field here and they ask us to select a method. Now, if we were to withdraw this directly to our Ethereum wallet, Coinbase is going to charge us $3.52. That's really, it's Coinbase passing along the blockchain fee to you, really, uh, because they have to pay the blockchain fee. So uh, you basically are getting the blockchain fee uh, from Coinbase. Now, notice there, if we use the base network, they're only going to charge us three cents uh, because they're just passing along the base network fees. So if we choose base and then uh, we paste in our address, now I've used this address before and it's given it a name, but you should, you should see your address down here. All right, now we've got everything lined up. We're gonna send that $20. It's only gonna charge me a few cents. We'll click preview send. There it is. It's uh, make sure you're on the base network. This is what we want. We'll hit send now. And then I'll enter my two factor authentication and off it goes. All right, we can go uh, check the Rabi wallet. Oh, and it looks like it already hit. It came really fast. So we can confirm here. If we click up here anywhere, it's going to show us the different networks. Notice that we have more Ethereum in our base network Ethereum account. 
All right, if we click on base here, we can filter the tokens so that we only see the base tokens. And I have more now. Now that we've done that small test and we've confirmed that it did hit the wallet properly, let's go ahead and just send the rest. I can show you how to do this from regular Coinbase. Uh, if we go down here and toggle back to regular Coinbase, basically we just want to do a transfer. Say we're going to send crypto and uh, you can choose the crypto you want to send here. And then I'll go ahead and just send what's left. And then uh, we click the to field. They ask us which network we want to use, just like they did over in advanced Coinbase. And I'll choose base again. It's only going to cost me three cents. And then I'll paste in the address of my wallet, which Coinbase recognizes. I've used it before. And then we're ready to go. We'll click preview send. And here we go. Look at the breakdown. There's that address, the same address I just copied out of my Rabi wallet. There's the network base. They're only charging me three cents. I'll click send now. It's going to ask for my two-factor authentication. All right, and then we're done. We can go over to our Rabi wallet. And lo and behold, it has refreshed already. That uh, extra Ethereum came in. Let's make sure it came in on the right network. Uh, we can click up here and then filter on the uh, base network and see that uh, we now have that extra Ethereum in our Ethereum wallet. Very nice. Now we can swap right within our wallet. If we hit swap, uh, you, can you can change your networks here. If you wanted to uh, swap on the Ethereum network, you could do that. Uh, I'll put it on base. All right, and uh, you can choose your token here. Let's say I uh, would like to buy a little more of one of these tokens. Now, uh, I would also warn you, uh, if you're just doing this for the first time and you haven't bought any of these, uh, you might want to uh, do a little research. Uh, I'll link to this CoinGecko page, which lists the main uh, meme tokens on the uh, base network. All right, you can see here it's uh, base meme coins. Uh, there are other coins you can get on base network too. You know, if you go here to chains, you can uh, go to base and it will show you all of the base tokens uh, by market cap. And you'll notice some of these might show up in uh, the list of meme coins as well. But right now, the top one is Brett, and uh, DGen is second, and Toshi is third. Now, if you want to buy any of these tokens, uh, make sure you do your independent research. Uh, check the websites of these coins. You can go, if you click on a coin, uh, you can uh, go down here and check out their website. Uh, do some research. Don't just uh, grab any coin you see. But once you have decided which coin you want to buy, you'll want to make sure that when you trade, you're getting that exact coin. So the way to do that is to go into uh, the coin and then get the contract address. So if we get the contract address, you'll know you're getting the exact coin you want to trade for. So we'll go back here to the swap on our base network. And when we go to select token, we'll paste in that contract address. Notice when we do that, that the coin that we wanna buy comes up and we know for a fact that this is the real coin. If you just search for it by name, you might get more than one hit. Some of them might be counterfeits or cheap copies that are kind of worthless. So in this case, it came up, but you want to make sure that you search by contract address so that you know you're getting the coin you really want to invest in. All right, and then uh, you can decide how much you want to use here. 
0.03, uh, it's about $100 worth of Ethereum to buy this token. So um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do the trade. I've got my uh, ledger connected and it's in the Ethereum app. Don't forget that. You want to make sure you're in the Ethereum app. We'll hit get quotes and it's going to show us different places where we can uh, make this purchase kind of under the hood. I'll go ahead and use one inch. And I'll go ahead and chick, hit swap. You'll see uh, that it notices the ledger is connected. You can scroll down here to see what your fees are going to be. 11 cents, not bad. Much cheaper than the Ethereum network. I'll hit begin signing process. And then I have to review on my device. Remember, blind signing has to be enabled to do this. All right, there's the amount. There's the address. There's the network. There's the fees, very cheap. Click both buttons to accept and send, and then our trade should go through. All right, we can go over here and check, and you can see uh, now we have more of the Normie token than we did before, right? And less Ethereum, right? Because we just spent 100 bucks of our Ethereum on uh, the token swap, but it only uh, cost us uh, 11 cents, right? It wasn't expensive at all. Now you can also go to uh, particular sites. I've got some, uh, I have some uh, resources here. I'll put links to these down in the description. But if you go to DeFi Llama and you go over to the base network, uh, it will show you which places you can trade on the base network. And Uniswap is one of them. And it'll give you a link to that website. We can go over to Uniswap. You'll want to switch over to base, and then you'll want to connect your wallet. You can use your Rabi wallet. And then uh, when you see the address up there in the corner, you know you've got your wallet connected. And uh, it shows you the same balance that you can see in Rabi wallet. All right, and so I'll just show you a quick trade from within Uniswap. Uh, this time, let's try a different token. Let's say I want to buy Brett instead. I'll go up here to Brett. I'll click that, and I'll get the contract address of Brett. We'll go back over to Uniswap, and uh, we've got ETH lined up at the top. And notice there's a little... Uh, base icon here, which indicates I'm using my base Ethereum, right? The Ethereum I have in the base network. And then select token here. Same thing. We want to paste in the contract address so that we're getting the exact token we're after, in this case, Brett. All right. And I can also adjust this amount. All right. You can see here if I put in 0.02, it's going to give me the dollar value of that. That would give me uh, about $72 worth of Brett. The estimated gas fee is about $0.08. Cents. Not bad at all. So if I hit swap and then confirm, then it's going to ask me to verify it within the Rabi wallet, just like when we were doing this before. You can go down here and look at those gas fees, about $0.08. Cents. We'll click Begin Signing Process, and then we'll review on our device. and then click Accept and Send. All right, my swap was submitted and my swap was successful. Uh, I can check my balance up here in the Rabi wallet again. Just click up here and then we can filter the base and see all of our base tokens there. All right, and we can click on the token and see that we just made uh, a trade uh, about a minute ago which brought in a little more Brett, 916. So you can trade right within the Rabi wallet and it will be an aggregator and find you the best deal. Or you can trade on any platform that you're already comfortable with. Just make sure you're using the base network. All right, so that's it. I showed you how to get the Rabi wallet set up and configured and funded. Uh, either from the base bridge or directly from Coinbase where you can withdraw on the base network to save fees. I showed you how to swap 
for base tokens right within the Rabi wallet. I showed you how to confirm your tokens by going to CoinGecko and grabbing the contract address. Very important. Showed you a couple of ways to swap tokens. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.